welcome to this lecture number 13. And this will uh, uh, solve one or two numerical problems in the steady flow into wells and then we will move on to unsteady flow into wells. First, uh, let us consider one numerical problem. of uh, steady flow through a fully penetrating well in an unconfined aquifer. So, the data is uh, well diameter that is 2 R w that is say 45 centimeter. So, this is the given data then uh, thickness of unconfined aquifer which is a saturated thickness that is h is 30 meters i'm sorry it's 25 meters and the steady discharge that is q is uh, 2100 liters per minute the observation well uh, radial distances that is R 1 and R 2, R 1 comma R 2, this is uh, 30 meter comma 90 meter drawdowns in observation wells. S 1 comma S 2 that is 5 meter comma 4 meter and uh, to estimate. So, based on this data that is well diameter saturated uh, unconfined aquifer thickness steady discharge observation well radial distances obviously this is from uh, center of the well that is r1 and r2 and the drawdowns in these observation wells in these two observation wells so these are the data given so to estimate uh, the coefficient of permeability one coefficient of permeability k and 2 that is a transmissivity that is T. Okay. So, now we know that for a steady flow through an unconfined uh, aquifer we have the relationship for the discharge in terms of the the two drawdowns or the this one is given by pi k 
h 2 square minus h 1 square divided by l n of r 2 by r 1. And here, so this uh, h 2 is equal to h minus s 2 and in this case, this is the uh, h is given which is say 25 minus uh, 4 which is 21 meters and h 1 is equal to h minus s 1 which is 25 minus 5 which is uh, 20 meters. So, let us substitute the values therefore, this q which is given in terms of uh, liters per minute. So, that is 2100 and uh, so let us convert this into meter cube. Uh, so, divided by 1000. So, this will be meter cube per minute. This is equal to pi into k into h 2 minus h 1 square that is 21 square minus 20 square divided by natural log of that is r 2 by r 1 and in this case this r 2 by r 1 is uh, r 2 is 90 and r 1 is 30. So, therefore, k will be given by 2.1 into natural log of 3, 90 by 30 is 3 divided by pi into, so this is uh, 441 minus 400. So, this is uh, 21 square is 441 and 20 square is 400. And uh, so, this uh, will directly give the value of k in terms of uh, meter cube per minute. Let me use here the calculator that is 2.1 into ln of 3 divided by pi into 41. So, this will directly give the answer of uh, coefficient of permeability k as 0 0.0179. So, this is meter per minute and uh, this the transmissivity T is simply given by k times h. So, this into h is 25. So, this will be 0.448 meter square per minute. So, these are the answers. The k value is 0 0.0179 and then T is uh, 0 0.448 meter square per minute. Okay. So, this is how we can uh, use this uh, the data from the well to determine the to estimate the the formation constants of either formation constants of the aquifer or if they are given the steady uh, rate of uh, discharge. And now, let us come to the unsteady flow into wells. And here, so the flow is varying with time and uh, 
firstly let us consider the unsteady flow through a confined aquifer. Consider a well through a confined aquifer and uh, that too a fully penetrating well. So, wherein the uh, there is an unsteady flow. So, let us uh, draw the diagram. So, this is the ground level and uh, this is the confined aquifer and this is the well this is the lower impermeable boundary of the confined aquifer and this is the upper impermeable impermeable boundary of the confined aquifer and uh, for simplicity let us consider the the thickness as b and uh, the flow is varying here so in this case uh, this is a So, this is the unsteady flow through a confined uh, aquifer obviously. So, here uh, so there is a radial flow. and uh, so consider a fully penetrating well through a confined aquifer receiving radial inflow okay so in such case the equation is uh, given by the equation the for the ground water flow in the radial coordinates and here obviously so let me also show the the water table the original water table which is uh, horizontal so this is the original wt and then uh, so this is the so this is the drawdown and obviously so here at a distance at a for a general section the height of the this one above the this is s and the drawdown is s and the height is h so now in such case we can write down the 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 governing uh, ground water flow equation in radial uh, coordinates in say cylindrical coordinates and here you can say this is the 
homogeneous comma isotropic confined aquifer. is d square h by d r square plus 1 by r. So, this is the, the radial distance r, where the head is h and the drawdown is s. So, this 1 by r into d h by d r. So, this is the second partial derivative of h the variable head h in the unconfined uh, uh, flow, I am sorry in the unsteady flow through a confined aquifer, through a fully penetrating well in a confined aquifer. So, this must be equal to S by T storativity by transmissivity into d h by d t and since this is an unsteady flow. So, this term so, this d h by d t is a non zero value. So, this is the governing equation. Now, in this case, and uh, here we can write down this the total head, the undisturbed head or the piezometric head is uh, capital H. And uh, we here we can write down so this uh, obviously the we can write down the expression, the drawdown small s is equal to the piezometric head capital H minus the variable uh, head in the well along the drawdown curve. So this is the drawdown curve. This is the unsteady drawdown curve. So, this uh, drawdown S is given by this capital H minus small h. So, for uh, this case, if we so it is Thais in 1935 obtain the the solution so using electrical analogy as follows. So, that is why this equation is known as the Thais equation. So, the equation is uh, for the drawdown S, the variable drawdown S which is equal to capital H minus small h, the piezometric head, the constant piezometric head minus the variable uh, head of the drawdown curve H measured with respect to the bottom impervious layer of the confined aquifer. So, this is equal to q divided by 4 pi into t into integration that is u to infinity e to the power minus u divided by u into d u. So, here so this term u is uh, known as the well function parameter. So, this is known as the well function parameter. This is equal to r square into s the storativity divided by 4 t into t. So, this is the transmissivity t and then this is the time since uh, pumping since beginning of pumping. Uh, 
and uh, this r is a radial distance of the where the drawdown is uh, s. So, in this case, so this r square s by 4 t t is uh, denoted as a well function parameter and its integration that is e to the power minus u divided by u into d u between the limits u to infinity and this uh, whole thing is known as well function denoted by w u. So, therefore, the equation for this uh, uh, the solution for the governing equation is uh, the drawdown the variable drawdown s is simply given by q divided by 4 pi into t into the well function w u. And uh, here, so this well function where this well function w u is equal to integration u to infinity e to the power minus u divided by u into d u. So, this has been evaluated as a minus 0 0.5772 minus natural log of u plus u minus u square divided by 2 into 2 factorial plus uh, u cube divided by 3 into 3 factorial minus and so on. So, this is the expansion of this integral. So, therefore, we can write down the and uh, this is known as the this is known as Thais equation for uh, unsteady drawdown through a fully penetrating well and it is in an in an unconfined aquifer. So, this uh, fully penetrating well in I am sorry confined aquifer. Okay. So, this is the Thais equation and uh, now let us write down say that is uh, and here obviously, so there are uh, the various tables are given for uh, well function value for uh, different uh, well function parameter and uh, so this Thais equation can be solved by uh, this uh, graphical methods. So, solution for th Thais equation by let us say this is the graphical methods. So, in this the first one let us consider uh, it as the, the type curves, one is that is by type curves, two by 
Cooper Jacob approximation now let us consider the the solution of the Thais equation by the first method which is by type curves the graphical method by type curves so here what is done is the expression for the unsteady drawdown is given by q divided by 4 pi t into the well function w and we know that so this is uh, the well function parameter u is given by r square s divided by 4 t into t so that is we can write this down as uh, t is equal to r square s divided by 4 t into 1 by u. Let us denote this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. So, this equation 1 and equation 2 can be written can be written as log of s this is the unsteady drawdown s obviously here this q is the the steady rate of pumping so here the it has not reached an equilibrium so therefore even though this q is steady the drawdown s is unsteady it's varying with time so this is equal to log of q divided by 4 pi t plus log of the well function w u and similarly so for the second equation so we can write this as uh, if you take the logarithm so this log of t is equal to log of r square into s divided by 4 t plus log of 1 by u so here so these are the two equations the first so let us uh, denote this as equation 3 which is simply the logarithm of equation 1 and this is uh, equation 4 which is the logarithm of equation 2. So here so this, uh, this comparison of 3 and 4 will tell us that if we plot s versus t that is the drawdown versus the time since the pump since the beginning of pumping on a log log scale and compare that with uh, the plot of uh, this log of w u versus uh, log of 1 by u and match them so that the uh, both the coordinate axis are uh, maintained parallel. So, in that case we get what is known as the first let us uh, say this is the plot of log s versus log t and uh, we get the second plot of uh, log w u 
versus log u log of 1 by u. So, in this case, so this is uh, log s versus log t is based on the pumping test data and obviously, as t increases, so this uh, s will increase. So, this the number of data points the represent the number of readings in the pumping test taken and then this log of uh, w u versus log of 1 by u. So, from the tables, so this is uh, the type of uh, curve. So, here in this uh, this type curve, so what is done is, so these two plots are matched. That means, on this, so on the plot of this log s versus log t, this uh, log of well function w u and log of reciprocal of the well function parameter 1 by u. So, is superimposed such that both the pairs of axis are uh, parallel in such a way that so, there are uh, the curves more or less match. In such case, what is done is, so this is by trial and error uh, this is done and then corresponding to any matching point on the curve. So, here say suppose this is the matching point, so this is the and uh, corresponding to this we have the log s value given along the log s axis, the log of w u value given along the log of w u axis and then this will be log of uh, 1 by u and this will be log of t. So, if we substitute these values then and of, of course, we have the, uh, the, the data that is log s value is there and then log t value is there and then so, uh, so we get this then we can uh, find out the uh, that is uh, both this log of q by 4 pi t as well as log of uh, r square by 4 t. So, then we can uh, solve for this and get the values of this is a so after get the values of the aquifer parameters so after uh, obtaining the matching point ensuring the matching of both the type curves. So, this is type curve 1 which is basically the uh, plot of drawdown versus time on a log log scale. In type curve 2 is a plot of uh, log of well function w versus uh, log of uh, the reciprocal of the well function parameter 1 by u. And so, maintaining the parallel nature of uh, both pairs of axis. So, we get the matching point and corresponding to any matching point we can get this log of s, log of w u, log of 1 by u and then log of t. So, once we get all this, so simply substitute the values, so then we can solve for 
So, substitute the values of uh, log s, log t, log w u, log 1 by u and estimate storativity s comma t by equation 3 and 4. So, this is the, the first graphical method for uh, determining the aquifer parameters using the Thais equation. Now, let us go for the second graphical method which is the aquifer parameter that is uh, so this is the graphical solution of Thais equation by Cooper Jacob approximation. So, in this case, so obviously, here and of course, this has some limitation for u the well function parameter less than or equal to 0 0.01. So, in such cases only this approximation can be used. So, in such cases the well function, so here say for u less than or equal to 0 0.01, the well function that is w u is given by just the, the two parameters, just the first two terms well function is approximately equal to minus 0.5772 minus natural log of that is the well function parameter which is r square s divided by 4 t into t. So, therefore, the expression for the drawdown s will be given by q divided by 4 pi into transmissivity t multiplied by minus 0 0.5772 minus natural log of r square into storativity s divided by 4 t into t. So, this is the transmissivity and this is the time since pumping and this is the drawdown. So, in this case, so obviously, so this is the approximation also for this the value the well function has to be less than say 0 0.01, less than or equal to 0 0.01. So, in such case, so this is uh, this s can be approximated as q divided by 4 pi into t multiplied by the natural log of that is 2.25 t t divided by r square into s. So, this is the approximation and in this case, so what is done is, so here a semi log plot of drawdown versus time, the drawdown s the unsteady drawdown versus the time. So, that is uh, it is plotted on a log scale log of t. 
this case. So, obviously, it will have to. So, this is uh, here it starts with uh, it has to start with this one. So, here we get a number of this data points and uh, this one. So, these data points the data points having the higher values of time. So, they form a straight line and if we extend this. So, this is uh, log of t 0. So, in this case, so basically, so when s is the drawdown, the unsteady drawdown s is equal to 0, then t is equal to t 0 or in other words, in this case and here we can say that. So, that is uh, the in this case the argument of this logarithm has to be 1. So, that the natural log of 1 is equal to 0. So, in that case s is 0. So, that is that is 2.25 t t 0 divided by r square into s this must be equal to 1. Okay. So, therefore, in the Cooper Jacob approximation what is done is a semi log plot of drawdown on the linear scale and then this uh, time t uh, on the logarithmic scale. So, that is plotted and then so the data points having higher time values. So, they will be uh, forming uh, they will be having a linear relationship. So, their uh, this linear relationship is extended backward. So, to intersect the, the logarithmic scale of uh, t and wherever it intersects. So, that intercept will give uh, the value corresponding to the time that is t 0 wherein the drawdown is 0. So, therefore, here what is done is in the Cooper uh, Jacob approximation. So, this uh, t 0 is determined and once this t 0 is determined. So, then we can uh, say that. So, the storativity s is simply given by 2.25 t into t 0 divided by r square. And before this we need to know this value of t and do we know that. So, the So, suppose uh, I denote this as equation 5 and uh, so based on this equation 5, equation 5 for any two data points, any two pumping test data points. having uh, drawdowns s 1 comma s 2 at times t 1 comma t 2, we have s 2 minus s 1 is equal to q divided by 4 pi into t into natural log of t 2 by t 1. So, here uh, this is equation 6 and uh, from this equation 6 you can write down the expression for uh, this transmissivity t. So, this t is equal to 
q divided by 4 pi s 2 minus s 1 into natural log of t 2 by t 1. So, this is the equation 7 and by this and here obviously, this s 2 s 1 t 2 t 1 they are obtained by the pumping test and obviously, q is also obtained by the pumping test. So, by the pumping test data where the discharge is constant only the the drawdowns are uh, uh, variables or unsteady. So, therefore, we can estimate the value of transmissivity t and once we estimate the value of transmissivity. So, then substitute this value of transmissivity and uh, the value t 0 obtained by the uh, extending backwards the linear portion of the semi log plot of uh, drawdown s versus uh, the time t. So, we get we can estimate the storativity. So, this is how we can estimate the parameters the aquifer parameters the storativity s of the aquifer as well as transmissivity t of the aquifer. So, this is uh, this we can get the uh, this unsteady this one and here we should know the approximations. So, it is the assumptions on which this uh, Thais equation is uh, based on. So, assumptions for uh, this equation for unsteady flow through fully penetrating well in a confined aquifer. So, let us uh, list these assumptions. So, the, the first assumption is aquifer is homogeneous isotropic of uh, uniform thickness and of infinite radial extent I am sorry aerial extent. The second assumption is before pumping the piezometric surface is horizontal. The third assumption is the well is pumped at a steady discharge rate. The fourth assumption is the pumped well is uh, fully penetrating the confined aquifer. and 
the streamlines are horizontal everywhere. The fifth assumption is the well diameter is uh, small so that there is uh, negligible storage. in the well. And the last assumption is water removed from storage is discharged instantaneously with the decline of head. So, these are the six assumptions on which the Thay's equation for unsteady flow is based and uh, so in the next lecture we will uh, discuss the unsteady flow through wells in unconfined aquifers as well as uh, leaky aquifers. And here uh, we should uh, note that, so the, of course, I have already made it uh, amply clear. So, the well is pumped at uh, steady discharge. Okay. And uh, so, in the next class, we will discuss the unsteady flow through the well in unconfined aquifer. Thank you.